Is he dead? I can't lie, so far 2024 has been off to an amazing start in terms of anime and it looks like it's only gonna get better as we continue throughout the year. Like we have some really good anime on the way and some of them you might not even know or maybe you forgot about them. And that's where I come in. Here are 5 upcoming anime in 2024 that you should be excited for. So first up is an anime that we all know and love, Demon Slayer. Now I was actually really surprised to see how many people forgot that season 4 of Demon Slayer is airing this year, but it is understandable with all the animes that have been coming out in bulk since the year started, especially solo leveling which in my opinion might be one of the best animes of winter 2024. Am I saying that out of bias because I read the webtoon? Absolutely. So Demon Slayer the Hashira training arc, one of the best arcs in the series in my opinion, is coming out on the 12th of May which is still a good while away but trust me, it will be here in a flash because you'll be too busy watching Mushoku Tensei Season 2 Part 2 which releases April 7th 2024. Now Mushoku Tensei had been an absolute chokehold ever since Season 1 was airing. It has a talent for being able to hook you in on a very intriguing plot and its pacing is really good so as you follow along and even witness different character perspectives that link to the main plot, you don't get bored. If anything, it feels like you're a part of the journey itself. This anime is truly isekai done right and I have read the manga so I know what happens later on but I have been thinking about reading the light novel as well because I have heard great things about it. But yeah, I'm really excited for part 2 of Mushoku Tensei season 2 and you should be as well. <laughs> Next is an anime that I'm genuinely excited for because the manga ended the other day and then we immediately got an anime announcement right after. Now this series is definitely a unique one, it's kind of an acquired taste. I don't see it becoming very popular in comparison to the other spring animes but I definitely think it will be loved by a handful of people. This series is about a well-renowned hitman called Fable, a man who is proficient in every form of killing and he does it all with a blank expression and a monotonous attitude. Don't let that fool you though, this guy has a very excessive personality and the series follows him as well as another member of his organization being sent to Osaka and they're given the order to lay low and try to live a normal life as normal people but I'm pretty sure you can imagine how that goes. You have a legendary hitman whose name is feared in the underworld and now he's trying to live normally, yeah that usually never ends well. So if this series sounds interesting to you, definitely keep it on your list because the anime is right around the corner and I promise you, you will love it. Or you could read the manga in the meantime. Next on the list we have season 3 of Konosuba which is set to be released on the 10th of April. Now amidst all these supernatural shonen action packed series that are being released, sometimes we just need a nice comedy anime to sit back and relax and enjoy without having to analyze every single detail. And what better series to turn to than Konosuba. I still need to watch the Megumi special but I have watched season 2 and the movie and this is easily one of my top 10 favorite isekai anime of all time. The comedy doesn't feel forced in any way and the dynamic between the characters mixes very well. I genuinely love this series so much and I know it's gonna hurt like hell when it ends but until then I'm looking forward to the story continuing in season 3. And finally we have Dondodon. Now this series is still somewhat new and not a lot of people know about it and it's just being adapted from the manga so it wasn't on many people's radar until now. But let me tell you now, this series is gonna take you for a loop, it's gonna leave you jaw dropped, it's gonna leave you in awe and I know a lot of people hype up their favorite series this way but trust me, this is not an exaggeration. The author of this series, Tatsu Yukinobu, was an assistant of Tatsuki Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man and if you love Chainsaw Man, you're gonna try transition into Dondodon with ease. Because believe me, the similarities are there although Dondodon more so delves into the supernatural aspect. The genre I think is supernatural, horror, romance, and comedy and it really expands on the supernatural aspect by implementing aliens, ghosts, and creatures from different mythologies and lores. And not only is the story very intriguing, the art style is also phenomenal and complements the story greatly. And let me just put this out there, Dondodon is a weekly series. This quality of art is coming out every single week. This man Tatsu Yukinobu is a monster. Honestly, there's never really a dull moment in the series and the pacing is very reminiscent of Chainsaw Man so if you haven't put this series on your list yet, now is the time to do so. Alright, so those were 5 upcoming anime in 2024 that you should be excited for. Obviously, they aren't the only ones so let me know in the comment section down below what animes you're most looking forward to in 2024. This is Chuni signing out, take care, have a wonderful day and goodbye. Thank you.